And it's not just that he's not here. One of my biggest gripes with the treatment of Fruit Brute was that he was always regarded as kind of like a dog rather than a person. He was more like a pet to the other monsters, and he was never really respected as one of Chocula's equals. Now, of course, I'm glad to see this toxic behavior die. All monsters must respect each other. But let's take a look at the back of this box. Chocula, Booberry, and Frankenberry hear loud music in the castle at night. They head through the castle and see Carmella laying down a sick beat. And in past years, this is where they'd greet her with fear and prejudice, just as they did to Fruit Brute and the Yummy Mummy and even Booberry upon his first arrival in the group. But instead, on the back of this box, they start grooving, baby. The second they see Carmella laying down a sick beat, they're dropping it low. They're ready to party. They're ready for the Monster Mash Gala. And of course, as a fan, this is the kind of character growth that I want to see in the three main monsters, Trocula, Frankenberry, and Booberry, an end to their reign of prejudice. But as a Fruit Brute diehard, I do wish that he could have been around to be on the receiving end of this kindness. He didn't deserve what he got.